Hello YouTube, sorry I'm late. Um, I was busy finding deals and some people messaging me and lots of going on. And I didn't have to realize I didn't have things set up properly. So uh, I didn't have to set it all up as well. So this, apologies for being a few minutes late. Uh, let me sure, I'm sure I've got the live chat on as well so I can follow. Because I will be sharing my screen. I won't need a drink. Just a right. Uh, how's everyone? Sorry, I'm just wasn't prepared for this. I didn't realize what time it was already, and uh, I am here now. We're going to be going, so today's 1st of June, lots of uh, Lego sets clearly launched today, hi Bricks to go, uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to share the, um, the website of Lego, I've already done a filter on stuff that's actually out today, some of it might already been out a few days ago, uh, but I'm going to go run through it, kind of share my, my view, what I think might do well, what I think is overpriced, um, and yeah, I'll keep my eye on the chat, let me know what you guys think as well of these sets, if you plan on getting any of them, uh, I haven't... It's probably the first time since a Lego launch this year has happened that I wasn't avail wasn't awake at midnight waiting to get the set, so to speak. So I haven't ordered anything uh, from the website uh, probably yet. I'm probably waiting for a better gift for purchase or some sets in the future. So uh, we'll have a look. So uh, I'm going to share my screen now and this should be the Lego website you should see. And uh, we're going to go through it uh, as we speak. So be interested to see what people's thoughts are. So. As I said, I went to the new uh, filter on sets and I sorted by low to high. So we're going to go up, right? So I'm not even going to bother wasting my time on dots, I think. There's plenty of those. Interesting. What, oh, why am I on the Australian one? What's going on? <laughs> you see, I wasn't even prepared properly. Went to Australia for some reason. I don't even know why. Right, let's go back to what we need to do. So we're going to go to new. I'm going to go to sets. Low to high, and I'm gonna do some filters as well on availability. Available now. There's already some back order and out of stock. Let's include those. So let's see what happens. Right now we're good to go. Hi Brian. Oh, that's a good set. That's one that I think is gonna do really well. So uh, yeah, so I talk about dots. Definitely not on my list to get. Neither are these kind of cubes. Um, they don't really appeal to me. I think they're overpriced at nine pounds. This set, I think, will do quite well from a resale perspective. You know, Captain America, the minifigures alone, I expect are going to be worth its price. I do think that this is going to get discounted at some point in the future on Amazon as well, uh, or other places, or you might get cashback offers. So I think this could be quite well from a, a reseller perspective. Again, some cube, not interested. Forest Waterfall, I'm going to open that in a different tab, see how many pieces we've got. Uh, quite a lot of green I'm not sure the mini dolls will sell oh there's an animal that might do well but 93 pieces yeah it's it's a bit pricey for 93 pieces so I probably won't get that uh, let's go next oh, I quite like the look of this cheap set sorry if I go hi HDTV sorry if I uh, speed through this so oh we got one of these uh, snake soldiers Wonder how much that will be worth. Uh, and double tires at the front of these bikes. There's, these must be some new model bikes, right? I've not seen these before. Uh, but only 54 pieces, but two minifigures for nine pounds. If that gets reduced to like six pounds, I might get them. So that's that one. More cubes. Duplo. Now I think this could do quite well from a resale perspective once it retires. You got Mickey. Mouse plane. Is this Duplo or is this actual Lego? Oh, it's four plus. Uh, and actually has a, a minifigure and 59 pieces. I think that's reasonable for being Disney branded. I think that minifigure will be quite popular. People will probably be quite interested in that one. But again, it's not something that's high on my list right now. Interesting to see some of the plates. It got some, looks like jumper plates there. 
and a four plus side. It's a good thing to know as well as with it being a four plus, there will be no stickers. All of these will be printed pieces as well. So let's have a look at next. Yeah, these, these cubes are definitely not my cup of tea. What's this wildlife ATV rescue? Rescue ATV. Oh, the little monkeys might be quite popular, a little scorpion. But I don't think that will part out well, 74 pieces. So that's quite expensive if you look at it per piece count, but I guess, you know, it's these animals that might recover it. N nothing I'll be getting here, I think. Daisy duck. Brickhead. I think that'll do quite well. Reasonably priced as well at 9.99 for 110 pieces. Uh, there's quite a few brickheads in this uh, launch on the 1st of June, so uh, you'll probably see a few coming up. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not sure about parting out, but I think more as a, as a reselling perspective in the future once it retires, if you can snap this up with some gift purchases maybe, or uh, some double VIP points if you want to add a few things. I think it would probably be quite smart to include a few of these. Because uh, they're quite small boxes as well to uh, invest. I think this one here, the next one, Spider-Man versus Venom and Iron Venom. I think these these minifigures are probably worth more than thirteen pounds forty nine. Because that's four minifigures you get here. Is it four? Or is it three? Yeah, four minifigures. That's not bad at all. Four minifigures, average is around three pounds and a bit. They'll probably sell for much higher than that. So I think that's quite a decent set. I'm going to ignore this Duplo train. I've seen it. This is like a new variant, right? Interestingly, um, my sons are now six and nine, but we had the previous version of this train. So uh, yeah, they come out with the new variants all the time. Oh, you picked up the Daisy Duck. Yeah, I think that'll do quite well. Uh, next is um, some of the minions. I think this is quite a nice set. Um, Bell Bottom. Who is it? Kevin and Bob. Yeah, 79. I'm, and I expect these sets to get reduced by like 20%, right? At some point to about £15. Uh, but 309 pieces, that's generous, right? For £18. Works out, yeah, it's a six pence a piece. That's good value, but it is yellow. Yellow doesn't really sell well. <laughs> Though you've got quite a bit of black here, I guess. Um, and yeah, I think that's quite nice for £18. But again, I said I would probably wait for a gift food purchase or buy it when some double VIP points or uh, other retailers will discount this for 20%. That's at least my expectation. Now, I didn't see this set coming up before. I, this is kind of flown under the radar. But I quite like the look of this. The Black Panther uh, Dragonflyer. I'm not a Marvel fan, but I think the minifigures look really cool. Um, it's three of them. I wonder if these are exclusive or not, or if they appear in other sets as well, because that will ultimately de uh, determine how valuable these ones are. But 200 pieces, three minifigures. I think this is quite good value, especially, you know, it's colors that likely will sell well as well. So hi, James. So, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, not bad at all, this set. Let me know how uh, what you guys think of these sets as well as we go along. I keep my eye on the chat as well. So, um, and then there's a beatbox. I'm not into the video thing. Uh, these tend to get reduced in price quite rapidly as well. Uh, so yeah, on Amazon, most of these are going now 50% already. There's a Duplo. Mm, not interested in that. And this is the other Minions uh, Brickheads. I think this one will do will be really popular as well. With Groove, Stewart and Otto. I think these look quite nice. 244 pieces. So it's less pieces than the other one. So it's interesting that the same price point. But I can see this one being a popular one. And I think it'll do quite well from a resale perspective as well. I think m Minions are going to be one of those things that are going to be around for a long time right you know they're going to make new minions movies and kids will always love them and parents will always love their kids watching it so i think from that perspective it's quite a smart uh, thing if you're looking at to invest as a reseller at least that's my view uh, so one of the minifigures is exclusive i 
Cool. So, oh, and here's the first Harry Potter. Uh, I think this is good value. Um, Polyjuice potion mistake. Or pretty much like the bathrooms, right? Uh, but four minifigures, including the, one of the gold ones for the, the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter. Um, Lego sets. So I think this will probably part out very well with four minifigures like this. Um, you know, a lot of tan bricks. Uh, I think this will be quite a good set to get. Uh, especially at this price point and again I expect this to be on offer in other places around 15 pounds in a few months time but by then the part that value might have decreased and talking about part that values I have noticed that um, I started doing my analysis for June today and versus May we've seen quite a big drop which is interesting oh, and, and look they've even used some of these um, I've not seen it before it's the, the pieces here that they tend to use for uh, like shutters or you know the shutter guide that comes down on uh, for example like a fire station door and things like that I've not seen that in town before but. ah now speed champions so this is the Koenigsegg a Swedish car sports car I think this is one of the the nicer ones that has come out uh, but again as with all speed champions, these will be widely available at the retailers. Um, I do expect at some point it will be in August and hopefully it'll be one of those two for 15 offers. Well, probably not. It'll probably be two for 30 right at this price. So or maybe two for 20 if we're lucky. But who knows? We might get some deals on, on these ones in the future as well. Uh, I do expect that this will be discounted uh, in a not so distant uh, future. This is definitely one that I would probably look to get for, for myself. My son has uh, been building some of them and they, they look quite nice. So I think he's uh, probably going to look to buy one as well. We'll keep one for ourselves. So that's the Speed Champions first one. There's more Speed Champions coming, by the way. This is Ninjago. Lloyd's Hydro Mech. Interesting. Scuba diving Ninjago's. That's quite nice. So it seems like that Ninjago is going underwater, right? <laughs> I'm be interested to see what the part that value will be for this. Um, but got quite a lot of. Is this this is like the shape of uh, the back of the plane, part of the undercarriage that they reused as part of the shoulder blade. Interesting. Hmm. Not sure about the colors though. I don't know how well this one will do. But it's a reasonable price for too many figures as well. Lots of dots. Uh, this will do really well from a part out perspective, by the way. But uh, I think there's like a thousand of them in there. But I can't see this selling very well, like um, from a reselling perspective. Yeah, a thousand pieces. So, you know, works out as. <laughs> as ridiculously cheap per unit price so that's why i think from a part out perspective this will do really well but it's the sort of stuff that you'll end up in inventory from for years potentially so it, it could go quite high in my ranking of my top uh, part out sets but it'd be one with a caveat where i probably wouldn't buy it because i've got quite a few dots things that I've part out in the past and i'm good with stock for the next few years at the rate of my current sales for these things so that's what well, I'll give that one a miss. Now, what is this? Magical acrobatics. I was surprised how many sets actually came out this June, right? So it's uh, almost like a year since I've started redoing Lego. And I wasn't aware there was such a big launch in June. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this video because uh, there is so much stuff to cover. So this is Lego Friends, Magical Acrobats. Two minifigures. Interesting parts that they're using. Hmm. 223 pieces. Now I'm a bit on the fence with friends, right? I, I haven't really seen evidence in the UK of this doing really well on the resale market in the future or prices appreciating because I'm not sure there's such a big demand for it yet. I could be wrong, but it's one that I'm kind of sitting on the fence right now in terms of um, investing sets to hold for the future. From a part out perspective, uh, 
I try to avoid them unless I get a really good clearance deal simply because a lot of the colors are very bright and don't tend to sell very well. Oh, here's another Speed Champions, the McLaren Elva. And there's a polybag version as well, so quite a small one. Um, but yeah, this looks quite cool. Um, I like the seats, how they've done that. And I believe it's printed, I'm not sure, but I believe they're, they're actually... Or, I'll be disappointed if that's stickered. Uh, but yeah, the typical price for a Speed Champion set. Uh, 263 pieces. I think this looks really cool. Again, as with the other speed champions, it's probably be one that I'm gonna be looking to get. Hi Martin. <laughs> Thank COVID for it. Yeah. Uh more video, new one. Again, I said I'm not into this thing. I do expect that these prices will drop very rapidly in a few months' time for this. Mickey Mouse. Uh I think this is Duplo rather than four plus. Let's have a look. No, it's four plus again. I think this could do quite well uh, as an investment in the future. It's definitely too early to buy. Uh, this could be something that is going to go on sale in supermarkets as well. But I think this would be quite a nice little set. I think this is going to be popular around uh, Christmas potentially for parents buying something for their kids because you get both mini figures as well. I think these mini figures might be quite worth might be worth quite a bit actually. Uh, but apart from that. I would see more this as a set to resell in the future once the set retires but clearly it's only launched today it's probably a bit too early to start thinking about that right now unless you want to buy hundreds of it um i do think you'll get this cheaper in the future as well although it's disney you might still get a deal on it minions this set came out about a week ago actually they were available on the 24th of may hi big daddy how you doing so Minions Cruise Lab, interesting use of some of the, the parts on the roller coaster. A little slide, two minifigures. Uh, the minifigures, actually, that's a new one. I think I've not seen this one before. Uh, this minifigure, did, I had it previously parted out from one of the Minions set. And this one did quite well. This one was the most popular one that I actually sold. So, uh, yeah, I don't think this is... I wouldn't be paying the full price of it because I've seen some of the other Minion sets that came out uh, last week are already being reduced by 20% on some sites. So uh, I wouldn't pay a full price for this set either. And especially only 87 pieces, but you can see some of the pieces they've included are some of the more expensive ones. Minnie Mouse ice cream shop. So it seems to be a bit slow, I'm not sure why. So I'm loading this in a different tab each time just so I keep my original thing. Okay, oh wow, we got um, two minifigures here. Um, again, it being Disney and 4 Plus, not something that I'd look to part out, but I can ex imagine these minifigures being very popular if you do part them out. Um, will you get the £17 back? Probably not, just for the minifigures. They're probably about six, six pounds each. At least that's, that's my guess. I could be wrong. Could be early on that people just way overpriced them because people will want them. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I wouldn't get this set. It's probably something that I likely more get in a clearance sale or a heavy discount. Next, Spider-Man, some more Marvel sets. Hi Shoko, good morning. So Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus Mech Battle. Now these sets tend to usually do quite well uh, on the part type perspective. All these Mech Battle sets from Marvel the minifigures tend to push the price up and you'll find early on that these minifigures usually already recover the value of the set and then pretty much all the the parts here are for free now this looks like a common uh spider-man not a new one so it might be slightly different for the set but again i do expect that these sets will be in supermarkets and other retailers discounted quite quickly i do like this one here octopus mech battle looks quite cool 305 pieces for 18 pounds with two minifigures is, is competitively priced i would say this looks like minecraft so quite a lot of sets in the uh, 1799 range so minecraft sets uh, are typically horrendous from um a parting out perspective but what i've well at least from what i've been 
watching other channels, they talk about how these tend to do quite well on the aftermarket. Now I've got a few sets that I've got that are about to retire. So I'm not sure yet if that's going to apply the same for the UK, but time will tell. But yeah, Minecraft is one of the more popular games. So I'm kind of hoping that over time, some of the sets that I do have in stock will do quite well from a resale perspective. But we'll, time will tell, right? I'm not sure if we can compare the UK market necessarily to the US market uh, when it comes to Lego reselling in the future. So um, I haven't got that experience yet, but we'll see. Um, I Again, I expect these sets uh, fully to go down in price uh, on Amazon and the likes uh, being priced much other places. Um, I always expect this to be like twelve ninety nine or something like that, and even then, I likely wouldn't buy it unless it's close to retirement. At least that—that's my personal view, right? I don't buy uh, Minecraft sets to part out. Uh, I would only just buy them to sell on in the future once they retire. That's my personal uh, strategy on those ones. Uh, these ones, another speed champions, and I know a few people in the chat will be. Uh, <laughs> know what i talk about with uh we're all hoping that uh, this set will come through from another retailer uh because there was a price mistake on hamley's and uh, we're still waiting to find out whether they will honor it or not so uh yeah this set actually regardless of that looks pretty cool i think um i was probably gonna get this one regardless i don't think this will part out as well as the other speed champions purely because of the color yellow uh yellow parts tend to be lower in price on brick length than uh, some of the other colors that you'll see in the Speed Champions. And that's why I think it might not be that well from a part out perspective as the others. But again, I think this will do really well in the future from a reselling perspective. But for that, I think it's too soon to order from Lego. Nearly 300 pieces. That's good. I like it. It does look cool. And here's some, I think, here are some of the, this set here, I think, is going to do wonders. This one, especially from an investment perspective to hold into the future. This set here, I think, is going to be gold dust. I would not be surprised if this set sells out within the next week. It's probably going to go on back order at some point very soon. Because there was another Lego set uh, where it was Harry Potter and Hedwig as a brick heads. And those are already like, you know, triple the price now because it's retired. Now, I, th I think this will be the same, right, uh, with these four characters here. twenty one ninety nine, four 466 pieces. I think this is a very generous, especially Harry Potter as well. Yeah, I, I think this is probably one of the top sets that uh, uh, Lego have launched this June. And let me tell you. I'm not a Harry Potter fan at all. I just, I don't even watch the movies, you know, don't have any of the Lego, but even for a non Harry Potter fan, I can see the value in this and I think this will do wonders. Let me know if anyone agrees or disagrees. Be interested to see what people think about this set. Cause I think it's uh it's one that's going to be popular for a long time. All right. I do know that there's a bit of a time delay on the chat then versus uh, what I'm showing. So uh, we'll see. I'll move on to the next one. Meanwhile, uh, similar here. The Ducks, Scrooge, Huey, Dewey and Louie. I think this will do quite well as well. Uh, how many pieces is one? Only 340 compared to the other one was in the 400. So again, this was obviously this is Disney branded, probably bigger royalties to pay. But this look, these look cute. Um, they're probably not going to go up in price as much as I think as the Harry Potter ones because I think this is a less wider audience for it. But regardless, I think these will do quite well um, from a resale perspective. I'm not sure how they will do from a part out perspective. I don't think it'll be one that I'll be looking to get from a parting out. But from a reselling, this could do quite well. Yeah. I think Martin, you're right. I think that's going to be one that's really going to be good from an, an investment perspective. And we've got Voldemort. Quite like the look of this as well. Some dark green and some sand green use here. I like how they use the, the round plates for the head, for the hair. It's good use of parts. Again, this will do really well. I still think that the, if you look at it at a price point, 
for bricks compared to the other one you can see the other one's 460 and this one's only 344 but for the same price point and you got one brick head less that's why i think the other set uh is is gold dust this will do well as well with harry potter you can't really go wrong i'm hoping that this set will get reduced in some places in the future but depends on the popularity right if it always sells out everywhere uh, they might not be inclined to actually reduce the price too much so <laughs> be interested to see how that one goes so let's keep going because we got we're only on page two out of seven so we're going to move to page three so we've got a while to go right uh duplo i'm not going to cover this um it's not high on my list i think this is a four plus batman joker let's have a look yeah, it's four plus. I don't think these minifigures are unique or anything. I would only get it for the minifigures. Um, I don't think this will part out well. But Batman are always good. But I think it's priced too high, for my opinion, for a four plus set. How many pieces? 136. Yeah, that's too much. I think 20 quid would have probably been more appropriate for a set like this. Especially that these minifigures don't look... Uh, new to me although i'm not sure about her is that a new one who is it that girl mm. not sure about that one i won't be getting it that's for sure what's this oh this isn't one of the sets of for is it for video yeah so they've got more uh, buildable items now with like stages and things again I'm, I'm not sure how popular this whole theme is uh I, for one, I, I just don't see the appeal. I could be completely wrong. Um, how many pieces in that? 344 for 25 pounds. And these two minifigures. Now, I'm not even sure how popular these minifigures are. Uh, viewing by the scene that they're already reduced in price significantly, I don't think they're doing that well, right? But it's not something that I think is going to do well. Crocodile looks good, but is it worth 25 pounds? I would expect that this kind of falls in line with the the three and one, um, you know, what's it called, the the dinosaur one they had. Oh, it was four hundred fifty four pieces. Well, that's quite a lot. I guess it's all these uh, <laughs> these cheese slopes. Let's add up the piece count. Looks good, but not at that price point. Be interested to see how this uh, parts out. So that's quite a lot of parts for 25 pounds but yeah on the fence of that one family camping van adventure that's the duplo one i'm not going to cover that one fish tank i wasn't sure that they were, they actually brought this out i think this will do quite well and for those who were here at the beginning of my video I actually logged into the wrong Lego, wrong region, and I saw I was in Australia, and this one was already sold out in Australia. So I'm wondering if it's just uh, people like the fish tanks in Australia or not. But uh, yeah, I think this will do quite well. How many pieces? 352, 25. They haven't got any side panels, have they? I think. Or is it... No, it's just uh, the display of fish. I don't know. Some people like creating aquariums and stuff. It might be quite good. Be interested to see how this one parts out. Lots of different colors. But not one that I want to get. Is this a three in one? Is it a three in one? Oh, it is a three in one. I've got like a treasure chest you can build. Oh, and one of these uh, easels. Interesting. Three in one sets usually are pretty bad when it comes to a part out perspective. The ratio usually isn't the best. At least that's what I've seen from a lot of the sets so far. Uh, Forest House, this looks like Lego Friends to me. Let's have a look. You can kind of anticipate as well how popular the Lego will think the sets are going to be purely by the fact that the limit, right? If you start to see limit one or two, uh, from new sets that are launched, you know they think it's going to be popular. When you start seeing 5, 10, 20, you know uh, they don't see that it's going to be a bestseller. So it kind of it gives it away as well what sets are going to be popular. Uh, I'm expecting this to probably at some point to be available in a retailer. 
possibly even up to half price at some point if supermarket gets a deal and that's when i would buy it otherwise i probably wouldn't buy it um again it's it's all these these purple colors right although you do get a lot of uh, reddish brown tan and some of the leaves will do um quite well but i hardly ever sold any of the mini dolls all right i think this is more lego friends so yeah there's over 100 sets that we're going through so uh we are getting to the good sets at some point uh lego friends nah not for me Let's see you can buy 10 magical fun fair stalls again limit of 10 how many pieces in this one 361 Just so many bright colors, and if you look at it from a brickling perspective, this you'll just be stuck with some of these colors for for a lifetime potentially. So it's it's not on my list as a brickling seller, nor are Lego friends yet as a, an investor. I just not familiar with the theme enough in terms of return on investment. I know that if you look at the channel like Brick Bucks and uh, like Jim in the US, he keeps talking about friends are like underrated and those really well. I just don't have that confidence that it does that well here in the UK. But I could be wrong. It could suddenly just take off, right? Oh, uh, I think this is a dot set. <laughs> a little cactus. Again, it'll probably do really well from a part out perspective, this. But, you know, there's only so many dots that you can buy, right? So, um, it's a no for me. More video, Robo Hip Hop car. I actually got a car. Go have a look at this. Is this one of these things that folds out? The car looks pretty cool. I do like them. These minifigures look pretty cool, actually. But I don't know. It's just when I look at it, it says something about using your smartphone. And we all know what happened with the last uh, theme that Lego did with smartphone needs. So uh, Hidden Side wasn't a brilliant success. It kind of probably... I, I don't even know what this does, right? So it just doesn't appeal to me. Hi, Mighty Hulk. Oh, happy birthday on Saturday. Hopefully you get some Lego. Uh, Spider-Man Headquarters. Is this Duplo? I'm going to have a look at this. This is definitely Duplo. Interestingly, did I even got Marvel now into, uh, <laughs> you know, Duplo range? Because I'm pretty sure uh, Spider-Man movies are not appropriate for uh, the target audience of Duplo. But it's quite nice that they got these minifigures, Duplo figures with the uh, Spider-Man print but it's a no for me ah, here more Harry Potter and another set I think will do quite well um, this one will do really well from a part out perspective I think uh, lots of these tan colors and these uh, these uh, is it medium nougat probably I always get confused by the one will do really well, again four minifigures one golden one Twenty-seven ninety-nine, only two hundred sixty-four pieces. But I think the minifigures will likely compensate for this, um, and this will likely count as a minifigure as well up here, the statue. So yeah, I think this will do quite well. I think most of the Harry Potter sets, to be honest, are going to do quite well. Mickey Mouse, four plus, with animals. Yeah, I think this would do quite well in the future as a reselling, but it's not something I would buy at full price. I'm not something I'm going to buy at parting out. So, next one, dinosaurs. Uh, if I go by by my son who's six, now this is obviously Duplo, I believe. Yeah, uh, he would have loved this as a kid because he still loves dinosaurs now, and he loves Jurassic. So I could see this could be quite popular with kids. But it's very pricey, this. £28 for this duper set for 36 pieces. It's just... <laughs> there's no way I'd be spending that sort of money. Minecraft. Let's have a look. I'm just catching up with the thing. 
Yeah, I, I agree that, James, that people, you know, I've got two sons and uh, it was interesting. My son, he, my oldest one, he's getting more and more into Fortnite. And there was his birthday. We gave him the, the Ford Mustang. And then every day, it was during the school week that he actually had the set. Rather than him going on the computer, he chose to do Lego. So it was quite nice. And me and my wife actually commented on it. It was, it was quite nice to see him still being drawn more to Lego than being to a computer game. So, yeah, I think you're completely right that parents do buy uh, <clears throat> Lego for the kids not to go onto the devices. Hi, KW. So, yes, uh, more Minecraft sets here. Um, again, I don't buy these to part out. Um, I think £28 is uh, probably overpriced. This will come down in price at some point. Obviously not on Lego, but on other places. And here's another one of the Minion sets that launched last week. And this is one that actually already, uh, for people who are on my Discord uh, server, uh, by the way, if you're not aware of it, we have a Discord server. There's a link in the description below. Anyone can join it. I highlighted a deal for this set uh, earlier today. And this set's already been discounted. Um, so that's... A <coughs> very quick for this set to be discounted um but yeah it hasn't got that many parts but i think the minifigures are quite cool i think it's overpriced anyway at 30 pounds i don't think this will do well from a part out perspective uh but again minions has its unique crowd that will be around for a long time and some kids will like airplanes i would have loved this as a kid so uh yeah i think i can see the appeal but it is pricey at the price point of thirty pounds for one hundred and twenty pieces, well one hundred and nineteen. So now this set here, everyone is awesome, causing a lot of uh, issues on social media, and I don't know why. You know, everyone is awesome. Um, I think this will do really well. I think from a part out perspective, all these minifigures, it does look really cool as well, and you can already see, right? I said it's going to do well. Look at the limit. It's been limited to two. So um, this set is going to fly off the shelves, I can tell you that. And um, not even just from a part type perspective, I think also from a reselling perspective in the future. You just look at, you just look at the packaging looks awesome. It's interesting as an 18 plus set. But yeah, I think this will do really well. Interesting price, £30.99. It's not a price that I've seen before in the UK. <laughs> I think it's a good price point. So is it 11 minifigures? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 11. So that's good. How many pieces? 346. Well, I could have just looked down here. It says now the minifigures. Now, they didn't used to have this. And we're moving on to page 4. So I think we're getting about halfway. Halfway. And how long are we in? 37 minutes. Wow. Uh, Elsa's Frozen Wonderland. Is there another Frozen movie coming out? Limit 10. It's very much Lego Friends this, isn't it, really? Um, probably not well from a bar out perspective, but more from a, a resale perspective, if you can get it at a discount. Again, you can already see Limit 10. They don't expect this will go very well. This one will do super well, I think, from um, an investment perspective over time. I do think yeah, I can see already limit two. Uh, I do think this will sell out. Uh, well, it has been around. It didn't launch today. It has been around for a bit actually, uh, but it's still under the new section. Yeah, I think this as a set to resell once this retires, I can see this easily doubling in price quite, quite quickly. More speed champions. Getting hot here. I need to open this window, I'm sorry. Um, there we go, a bit of fresh air. That will do me good. Sorry about that. We're back. Speed Champions, Chevrolet Corvettes, race car, 1968. These look cool, $34.99. I would expect this to be similar to the Jaguar uh, Panasonic thingy, Speed Champions, where it's a similar price, and you, you tend to get them now for about 28 So 
if you're willing to wait and you're looking at for it to getting for yourself i think this this will get reduced in the future um but yeah this this i think this will part out well as well uh and they do look good these sets i quite like the look of this one and uh, yeah all the the speed champions car are now eight studs wide so uh, they the six studs wide ones they're they are retiring now so if you still get them i recommend you get them because they will soon go up in price what else we got oh this looks more like dots right that's nice a bit of fresh air so yeah dots again probably do well from part out perspective but not something that's going to be high on my list this one on the other hand this one will sell out for sure so this is like Hedwig right although I think Hedwig is going to do a lot better from a part out perspective than this purely because of the colors but this I can see from a, a reselling perspective in the future when the set retires is going to do really well so uh, you can see limited to two again I would expect this to be available below 30 pounds in the future but yeah it's going to be the same kind of build for those who have built Hedwig I've got Hedwig in my living room it was, it's a nice build and occasionally my son still you know turn the, the little handle and put it in different positions the wing so it's, it is a nice uh, feature set and I think this one will go well with whoever already got Hedwig uh, but yeah I think this this not necessarily from a part out for me I think this is could be from a reselling perspective I hope you're enjoying it so far you know we're getting to the bigger sets right so I've listed it that we start from low price to higher price so um ninjago is interesting this is this like one piece in the hull it's almost like oh, i was about to say it's almost like a four plus and then i look at the next picture it's a four plus uh, so yeah um these look like the standard minifigures they don't look exclusive or anything so yeah it's not something i will get unless it's a huge discount on something but I think this is kind of like getting kids into the Ninjago theme, right? So I quite like the look of that. But it's too heavily priced for me at £35 for what it is. Especially when you can get the, the Destiny's Bounty, you know, the big one pretty much elsewhere for, if you look around, less than £80. And more Hogwarts, more Harry Potter. Fluffy Encounter. Now, someone tell me why it's called that. Because I don't watch Harry Potter. But fluffy doesn't just sound intimidating, right? Um, sand green, tan, four minifigures. Whatever this thing is. Is this going to be classified as a buildable minifigure or, so, or just parts out? Because if this is a classified as a minifigure. One, two, three. No, it's not. This could be worth quite a bit. I, I still think it's going to be worth quite a bit anyway. Thirty-four pounds or thirty-five pounds. Mm, it's probably about the right price. It's not going to be there from a, a great part-out perspective. I think how many pieces? Yeah, three ninety-seven now. The mini figures will will do quite well. Again, they expect it to be popular, right? A limit of two. Iron Man. Iron Monger Mayhem. Three minifigures. Four seventy nine pieces. That's a decent price. Um if this gets discounted somewhere I probably will will get that. Uh kinda of struggling to see what colours these all are. Is that like a flat silver or is this kind of like it's like a matte black it looks like a new color or is this a dark brown it's difficult to see i'm not sure what the color is for the shield around here the chest doesn't look like black interesting just wondering if lego's coming up with some new colors but yeah i think this could do quite well from a part out especially because of the minifigures but not necessarily at that price but I expect it to be discounted. More minions, Kung Fu Battle. I think I saw this discounted as well already. 
Shame. The thing is fluffy. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, doesn't look so fluffy to me. I apologize for my, my ignorance. I did warn you, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Mm. This is almost like um could fit in with like a Chinese New Year theme, right? Kung Fu battle. Um, slightly on the expensive side, 310 pieces, but three minifigures. Again, if you can get this discounted, I think it's probably quite worth it from an investment perspective. I think this could do quite well, um, but, but I wouldn't buy it at that price. It's pretty much with everything, I would say. More Ninjago sub speeder, more water themed Ninjago. Then they kind of run out of ideas on land, so they're gonna go underwater. Uh, yeah, they all got this. This thing to go scuba diving. Scuba Jane, scuba coal. Two Mirai. Whatever they are, cards. I don't know. This will probably be parting out quite well, but again, these will be such unique pieces you're not going to shift them anytime soon. And the same for the colors. It's interesting that Ninjago is going for this whole sub submotical theme. B -b 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 seaside police and fire mission. I thought it was going to be four plus, but it's not. It's not four plus, is it? No, it's five plus. Practically the same almost, apart from the fact that this will likely have stickers. Let's have a look. Why did I go full screen? What am I doing? Yeah, I can see kids playing with this. Interesting. Limit two, so they expect this to be quite popular or selling quite well. It's not something I'm on my list, but I guess this, this shooter cannon to shoot out the fire, you can see the playability from this one, right? So... But I don't think this will do quite well from a part out perspective because 297 pieces. These minifigures are not going to be worth anything. Okay, you got the shark. I wouldn't be surprised if the part out value is going to be like 50 pounds, give you a pretty bad ratio. Mm -mm. I think this next is more Minecraft. The Jungle Abomination. Yeah, Minecraft. Not much from a build there apart from this this creature, right? 489 pieces. Which I think most of them go in there. Nah, not for me. Sorry, my kids love Minecraft, but nope. Race cars. I think this is Duplo. I'm gonna give that a miss. Um I think Duplo pricing is very expensive. Let's just see how many pieces there are in there. 44 wow must cost a lot lot to injection mold these pieces right i do know that resin costs are going up but geez 44 pounds or oh, 40 pounds for 44 pieces i guess they must not put that many out at the same rate as other lego pieces so that's probably why wildlife rescue off-roader 40 pounds and we've got a lion and three minifigures it's four plus this yeah you can see by the car straight away quite like the lion but apart from the rest uh, I don't think it's worth it oh it's got a little baby lion there or oh, cat 157 pieces yeah the lion is is, is good but it's not worth spending 40 pounds on <laughs> be interesting to see how much those lines will part out for uh, so this is just lego classic bricks i think yeah how many pieces are in this one 950 you know i expect these to become available in some of the supermarkets here uh half price uh, or maybe 30 pounds and that's probably going to be worth it then to, from a part out perspective but apart from that 
So no, Bush Khalifa isn't new. So I'm gonna skip that one. Interesting, he's always got a low rating. I wonder why it's in the new, it's been there for years. Fire Dragon attack, Ninjago. 563 pieces. 45 pounds. That looks quite cool, but I don't think it'll do quite well for my thing. Okay, it's got a golden Ninjago here. That's why it'll be uh, quite popular as a set, I think. But I would expect this to be discounted as well. I might need to shut the window a little bit. I'm getting little creatures flying in. Uh, but yeah, I think this will... Um, this potentially something to add to the store once it's reduced because it's going to have lots of unique parts I think hi Jordan and we've got most speed champions for GT Heritage and the Bronco R I think this will be more popular in the States than it will be popular here in Europe uh, simply because of the cars we don't tend to have uh, these cars on the road down here um, but uh, I think they'll still be doing quite well but I think in the States people will go crazy for these because uh, lots of people ha will have some of these vehicles or be wanting some of these vehicles in real life and they'll be fans of them um, and I think as well they'll be drawn to them I'm not sure about the color scheme on this one although it's kind of growing on me but if I look at it from a part out perspective that's kind of why I'm a bit on the fence for this one I think it's quite a hefty price at £45. Pounds. Well, it's got 660 pieces. That's a lot more than I expected. Hmm. Hopefully we'll get it reduced, right? Because most speed champions tend to do quite well. Moving on to page 5. We're getting there. More Lego friends. Stuff you've all been waiting for, right? <laughs> Forest, camper, van and sailboat. That's quite a nice camper van, I must say. But 487 pieces for 45 pounds. Three mini dolls. Nah. You're out of here. Not for me. More video. Stuff that I don't get. I just, as I said previously, it just doesn't appeal to me. I'm not even sure what kind of audience those people are targeting with this. What age range is this? Eight plus. I don't know. As we said previously in the comments, you know, this has to have some app. It says music video maker. We want to take people off the screen. So why are we doing more people on the screen? Sorry. Next is Magical Caravan. I'm not sure if magical is the word. It looks more like gypsy caravan. I don't know. <laughs> it's not for me. That's pricey point, right? Forty-five pounds for three hundred forty-eight pieces. I'm not putting chat on the screen. I can see the chat on my side, so. Uh... Uh, you could probably follow the chat as well, depending on what platform you're using it on. Um, what have we got next? Mickey and Friends Fighter. This looks more like is it Duplo or Four Plus? I guess Four Plus. It's Four Plus. Oh, it's got Goofy. 144 pieces. You know, fire theme, Mickey Mini, some more characters, Pluto's there. Again, I wouldn't buy this at full price, but you can get this snap up at £25 or something or on some sale on Amazon. Wait for it to retire. That's the kind of tactic you would have to have with this sort of set. Because um, I think if you were to part it out just purely of the minifigures, you'd be ending with some of these bricks here, with these printed bricks for the rest of your life. That's why I think some of the sets, if you're just thinking about the minifigures, um, great, but you'll end up with the, the other parts uh, forever. 
that's why I think some of these sets if they're on sale they're probably best to uh, sell on in its entirety it's brand new in box what's next so yeah there's a uh, there's a slight time delay Jordan between um, what I can see and by the time I'm uh, producing it, so that's mostly, but I tend to go back, I tend to look at all the, the chats, so. Uh, hi, Walls Bricks, yeah, we're all good. We're just going through all the Lego sets that have launched pretty much today. Uh, we're, we're kind of going from the low valley till the high valley, so the best sets are yet to come. So we got Minnie's House and Cafe Disney. And I think with all the Disney ones that I've previously mentioned, right, these for me are sets uh, to, uh, is this Duplo? Yeah, I think it's Duplo, so. I don't invest in Duplo yet, so, uh, but some people might do, but Duplo is expensive. Uh, but I think if it's themed like Mini and Mickey, it's probably a wiser investment than other Duplo sets. But don't pay full price for it, would be my advice. I'm not going to go over the Scout Trooper helmet because that's been around for a bit. Um, interestingly, another space set. I know we have someone in here who likes a space. Uh, so this is a three-in-one, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a three-in-one, so you can uh, create this uh, this rocket or even like a, a lander, Mars lander. That's quite cool. Um, Forty-five pounds, four hundred eighty-six pieces. Not cheap, um, but if you, I think this might do, be quite popular from people who like space. Uh, you will likely find it cheaper at some point. This, as I said previously, three-in-ones tend to do pretty bad from a part out perspective. So unless you really want the set for your, your personal build or your own pieces, it's definitely not gonna be on my list to get because um, I think it's not gonna be worthwhile. And I can't really see how this is gonna do well from a, a future you know, investment perspective. Although some people are adamant that space themed, whatever it's space related will do really well. So I could be wrong, uh, but 45 pounds is already a hefty price for a set of this size. Next, ah, we got Luigi Starter Course. Oof. This has been around. Pre order this item. Oh, it's not even out yet. I thought it was out already. But 50 pounds, right? If you look around now, the, the Mario Starter Course is, is, is you can get it for 30 pounds or less. Um, why would you pay 50 pounds? I don't know. I don't get the whole Super Mario thing. More Speed Champions. Again, I think this is very similar to the Ford Bronco one. Might appeal to people in the US, not so much to the people in uh, in Europe. Fifty pounds is quite a hefty price point for this set with six hundred twenty-seven pieces. I believe these are lots of stickers. It's colors that are not going to sell well. All this purple. I wouldn't get this at full price. It's it's probably going to be. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably going to be one of the least popular speed champion sets, at least here in, in Europe. Not yet, Choco. Not seen that. I'm going to leave Carnage because it's been around as well. What is this? Magical Ferris wheel. I think it's Lego's friend. And slide. So this is kind of like a... a Fun fair kind of thing, right? But I have seen there's a better set I think that comes out, and that I think it's a bit strange that they come in and out at the same time as the friends and the three in one that I'm going to cover later, because it's kind of similar. Five hundred forty-five pieces. Nah, I prefer the other one that's going to come up. What is this? The Sky Tower. Is this more Minecraft? It sure is. 565 pieces again I think this is quite expensive for what it is uh, they don't tend to part out well um, but who knows in the future from a reinvestment perspective it might work out so it's not something that I'm gonna get now I'm not gonna cover Darth Vader because it's not new We've got the forest horseback riding center 
leg off friends. So we're already getting to the sets of the 60 pounds, right? So we're starting to get to the good set. I must admit, this looks quite nice. Um, not sure about the horses. Not sure about this one. The other one I could see reselling. That one I'm not sure about. That one with all the, the patterns. 5 and 11 pieces. I think if this gets discounted, this might do quite well. Uh, but it's got a lot of the bright light yellow, which does so well, the dark orange. But it does look good. I must say it looks good from uh, I can see what it is. And next we've got the Heart Lake City School. You like the Speed Champions Dodge set. I'm, I'm just on the fence of that one. I'm not convinced, uh, Shoko, if it's... I think it'll do really well in America, but I'm not sure about uh, in Europe if it's going to do uh, as well as they're hoping for. I could be wrong. Heart Lake City School. Interesting. Lots of windows. Lots of these... Uh, these bricks this could potentially do quite well from a part how many pieces 605 mm, no that's already 10 pence a brick right so uh no because the minifigures are not going to be worth that and i can't see many bricks in here that are worth more than 10 pence apart from the glass elements maybe um the windows interesting nice basketball hoop that's quite cool it's a nice set i'd say from a uh, from Lego friends, but to me, it just need, need to drop in price. Probably be about in the 40s. That's not new. Here we go, Infinity Gauntlet. No, this it feels like this set has been around for ages, right? But it's only come out. But it's been every single Facebook page or YouTuber you watch, they've been talking about this set. Uh, Uh, where are you based, Wolves Bricks? Are you based in the UK or elsewhere? I have noticed that the, the orders are definitely dropping off as well. Uh, but as previously mentioning earlier, um, I started my analysis again for parting out. And I have noticed that there's um, a big drop in part that value between June and May so far. So I do think some of the stores are running promotions or clearing out stuff. And maybe that, that might have an impact. I've definitely seen things slow down as well. But... I am I'm not going to manipulate my prices downwards because that ultimately is counterproductive and it just makes less and less uh, worth of doing bricklink. Now the Infinity Gauntlet, uh, for me this is not a set that I would necessarily look to part out. You know, yeah, the goal people say you might be able to build lots of stuff, but I'm not sure how many pieces here are useful to build with from a goal perspective. Uh, I see this more as a reinvestment set in the future to. But it's something that I wouldn't get anytime soon. Um, this is kind of like the helmets, right? I don't think this is necessarily going to part out well. Although it might part out well initially, but it'd be one of those things where you end up being stuck with uh, the inventory for quite a while because people are not necessarily buying these types of brick in that color. So yeah, uh, in the UK, yeah, I've, I've seen that um, my sales have definitely slowed down as well. I think it's also, yeah, the nicer weather is definitely having an impact. Uh, summer season's coming up. Um, and I think also, you know, there's, there is no lockdown. You know, we have a lot of Lego stores in the UK. If people need something, they might just go to the Lego store. Uh, and before, I think people were kind of, we're starting to see, you know, back to normality. And I think there's a lot more people who are starting to sell on Bricklink compared to before. So I think that's all having an impact. Uh, on it so i do expect that you know some people are going to start to see the reality of it that it's not as you know in one of my videos i mentioned this is not a quick rich scheme and i start to see that you know probably people are going to start dropping out of bricklink in a not so distant future it wouldn't surprise me punk pirate ship video what is this about It feels like someone's just taken the three-in-one pirate ship and just went a bit wild with it. Someone felt like, we've got a lot of turquoise and we've got a lot of coral pieces. Let's just come up with something and just put it onto this 
you know, this hole that we've got and let's build something with it and then try and sell it. I, that, that, that's my personal opinion. You know, I apologize if I offend anyone who absolutely loves this sort of stuff, but to me, it just doesn't feel like a lot of thought has been put into this. So when you start looking at the other themes that have been around, right? It just feels that they're trying to make a quick buck of something they've already done and just kind of like rehash something new. I don't know. I know there'll be fans of a uh, video, but I'm not one of them, as it might be clear. <laughs> Page six. <laughs> It'll start raining. Well, the odds are in the UK that will start raining soon, right? So. Surfer Beachfront. I had a look at this before. Come on. It looks quite cool. 15, 60 pounds, 685. Again, it looks good, but all these color pieces, I think they're just not like light aqua, you know, magenta, dark turquoise. These are just colors that do not sell. The only thing I can see selling quickly is these, these, these little fence posts here, right? That's probably what they're gonna sell quite well. And maybe some of these tree elements the rest wouldn't sell if you part it out. Um, so yeah, it's probably not something I'm going to get. Next, I've got a water dragon. Boom, boom, boom. Ninjago. Ooh. Oh, this looks cool. Again, but I think these are parts that are not going to part out that well. Or not, uh, the part out well would probably not sell well. Got these mini figures. We've seen these in the other set as well. 737 pieces. Ninjago sets tend to do quite well from a part out perspective, but they, they tend to also be stuff that you don't really sell that quickly. Um, I think once this maybe reduces in price, is something that might appeal to me. Um, okay, see why they're doing the theme. Ah, oh, Sea Bound TV series. Okay, yeah, uh, someone mentioned before me about the Ninjago. If people, if I watch it, uh, it's not something I understand. It's on Netflix. I don't watch it, so I apologize for that. So I guess that's probably related to this. This is why they're coming up with all that. Uh, but I kind of have a tendency that they make it the other way around. I don't think that Lego makes necessarily sets based on what's on the TV when they control themes like Ninjago. I think it's pretty much the other way around. It's like, oh, well, let's actually come up with some TV things that we can sell more stuff about. That's, that's at least, if it was my business, that's what I would do. <laughs> come up with new angles right this set will do well uh, wizards chess all these white and black two I think it's two by four tiles very good minifigures golden one I think there'd be lots of elements here that part out well 876 pieces uh, put it on your list this will sell out uh, if you look at the last chess set okay last chess set was it was only 40 it was 55 pats or was it 40 something can't remember but that had a lot more pieces that was a gem of a part out but i think with these golden minifigures all being black and white very good colors to sell on i think this will do reasonably well from a part out perspective and also uh from a selling on perspective uh even an investment right and i do expect that this set it's not just going to be exclusive to Lego. It will be in other places. So you'll probably be able to snap it up a deal. If you get anywhere around £50, it's probably going to be really good. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely get that one. Uh, or make sure as well, if you're looking to get anything from Lego, make sure you check um, Top Cashback and Quitco websites uh, because they do have cashback offers as well. So you can get cashback on, on Lego purchases. Uh, it's always worth to check out both of them because... Um, they do uh, vary their offers day by day. Next, well, we're at 70 pounds. 
Disney's Belle and Beast's Castle. Is this four plus? It's not six plus. All well, the pieces look like four plus. It's a lot of money for what it is. Five and five pieces. You know, you're talking fourteen pence a piece almost. That's a lot. Nope. This set here looks really good. Uh, Hogsmeade Village Visit, 70 pounds. Look at this, seven minifigures, 560 pieces. This will sell out. Uh, incidentally, if you're looking for better deals, uh, check on websites like Hamley's, um, things like that when the sets do appear. Uh, they got some offers on where you can get 10 pounds off if you use some specific codes. Um, and you can get cashback offers as well so I only recommend those when you don't have offers on right now on Lego for like double VIP points or gift with purchase but yeah this set looks beautiful I think this will actually do really well from a part out perspective will also really do well from an investment perspective uh, it's why I'm keeping an eye out uh, for when the part out values get announced to see you know what sort of pricing level this is going to come at because I think it looks really good 70 pounds it will be coming down that's for sure wildlife rescue operation now yeah. it is a lot of money for what it is the helicopter is nothing new okay you got these little tracks here Minifigures are nothing special because they're Lego City, they'll be worthless. So essentially you're paying lots of money for wanting some elephants. And look at this. This base plate here looks like the new base plate for the row plates, but in a different color. And I think it's the same for the water. And you know there's a rumor that Lego are kind of looking to move away from... Uh, base plates it could be that we're seeing here some of the things that they're moving towards so they might be using the rope plates as future base plates for everything as well 75 pounds come on take 20 quid of that and it might be more reasonable and even then it'll be still more than 10 pence a, a piece these elephants must be expensive to make <laughs> that's all I can gather out of that or the markup for this must be ridiculous is it it it's not even linked to uh, National Geographic or anything, no. Expensive for what it is, that's that's all I can say. It looks good, but it's expensive. Now, oh, Avengers Endgame. It depends, um, uh, walls, breaks, and how long it takes. Uh, some sets get done really quickly. Um, but the some sets that have been out for a few months now, they still haven't got the part out value. And it all depends on how quickly all the parts sell, how quickly the set gets inventorized. So people have to add the inventory onto BrickLink, so all the sets, and it has to be verified. Um, and sometimes, you know, if they're not available all day yet. And then it also depends on when all the bricks are starting to be sold, especially if there's lots of uh, new, unique bricks that have been launched and haven't sold for the first time. It will not give you a, a part out value straight away, or there might be a part that value that's missing quite a lot of bricks but typically when i see the sets now being launched june i would expect to start seeing some of the part out values come out in late july august at least that's when i start to think we're going to start seeing these ones appear in my um, my tracking i'm going to start tracking them i'm going to add them as i'm doing the list now but i don't see them uh, appearing uh any numbers anytime within the next month or two so this set uh, i think this is getting quite a lot of popularity um, quite a lot of minifigures. How many? Oh, it doesn't even say. You have to actually read it. Uh, I could have read, I could have just counted them, couldn't I? Does it say? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, seven and a micro figure. Ant Man. Hmm. I like the little van. I think this will do quite well, but it is quite expensive. I expect, you know, similar to what I've seen the the previous version of this, uh, it was selling on Amazon 
quite quickly for like 20 25% off and I expect this will be the same maybe sometime October um, I'm hoping to see this reduced uh, although the, some people eagerly want this for some of the minifigures I'm kind of hoping that uh, this price will, will come down but yeah, I think this I think lots of people will be eagerly looking out for the set Why would Lego move away from base plates? Well, that's a good question, right? Why did they move away from the road plates? It's Lego continues to look for new things, right? Uh, here's some rumor that we've been hearing, but you know, it's they're not denying it. So, you know, why did Lego move away from the nine volt train tracks? Why do they want us to use batteries rather than main power? So, uh, maybe they had some issues with some kids getting electrocuted who knows I don't know but I thought the 9 volt were uh, pretty good nothing wrong with them I guess it's more expensive to build them and sell them but now you have to get batteries all the time for the train so <laughs> it's a thing now I didn't mention uh, you know that when we looked at the previous set from the um, Lego friends where there's like a little f fun fair I think this one's a lot better but it's a three in one so it's gonna be rubbish from a part out perspective but if you're looking to build some sort of like fun fair or looking to build some um, theme park related with all the, the the other set, you might have the roller coaster, you might have some other sets, a carousel, just to name a few. You might want to add this one if you've missed out on the big uh, Ferris wheel. This is a nice little little version of it uh, for a much smaller price, eighty pounds. Um, but yeah, I don't think this is going to be doing well from a part out perspective, but it could do quite well in the future from a resale perspective. You can do a different build as well. I think you can do little bumper cars and I think there's another little uh, yeah one of these whatever they call little swings um, quite nice little options you can build with this uh, 1002 pieces for 80 pounds uh, hopefully you'll get a deal on this somewhere uh, but I think it's already reasonably priced still a bit on the high side but I'm sure there'll be a deal to be had somewhere if you're not too uh, bothered about waiting for this but yeah I, I like the look of this one Magical Fun Fair roller coaster. Is it a roller coaster? It doesn't even look like a roller coaster to me. Oh, it's got different colored track, that's why. Kind of goes around. 80 pounds. Interestingly, right? I have recently watched Lego Masters USA and one of the comments that the guy from Lego made was that the roller coaster should go around it shouldn't just stop halfway well to me if I look at this you're gonna push it, it ain't gonna go around all the way so what's that about <laughs> kinda of going against your own principles there uh, I think apart from the roller coaster track the rest is mm, nothing to write home about uh, I don't think the parts will do well um, it might be good to get it in a reduced price somewhere but again with Lego Friends as I said previously I'm always on the fence of it uh, Just it's not the theme that I'm too familiar with <laughs> Ultrasonic Raider Morning Jago Quite a lot of minifigures in this one. Oh, look, we got another golden one. Seven minifigures. Some of these snake, whatever, snake warriors, I think they're called. What are they called? Snake soldiers? Yeah, snake soldiers. Two of them. This looks pretty cool. Quite a hefty price for 725 pieces. But you can see these, these tracks. Uh, I think that's what they might be quite popular. I, I find whenever you have these sort of tracks in your Bricklink store, they do sell out quite quick. People like to build... Uh, track vehicles uh, so that does tend to sell quite well not sure about all these blades I'd, I have some of these blades never sold any of them <laughs> um, and the minifigures I don't think they're very exclusive obviously apart from the golden one right Duplo now <laughs> this blew my mind and the thing that blew my mind was the pricing <laughs> Now, I must say, if I was a, as a child, I could see I would absolutely love this to play with, right? If I was a young little kid, 
driving, putting your lifting this barrier up, going through the car wash. I can see why kids would absolutely love this. But at 85 pounds, come on, Lego. This should be like 50 pounds. And that's where the price it should, it will be selling like hotcakes. But 112 pieces for 85 pounds. I think they've lost the plot. If they price this more competitively, this this would this would sell really well. It's not often I look at Duplo sets and I think, wow, this is good. I think this is good. Uh, amusement park. Seems like they're a bit of a mixed match of all the other stuff they got. Ninety pounds. Oh, oh, 95 pieces 90 pounds goodness me that's this must be their most lucrative percentage-wise business right duplo nope ah birds of paradise now i like the look of these purely because it reminds me of living in spain <laughs> i think 90 pounds is quite on the high side it does say it's got 1173 pieces, but I want to show you something. Uh, let's see if we've got some better pictures come up. Yeah, here we go. Is it more pictures? Here we go. Lots of these pieces, look, they're just loose in there. So how many, is there a few hundred of these 1100 in there as part of the soil, which means like, okay, it's not really building with them, right? And a lot of the pieces are probably connector pieces to build the stems. So it looks good. It's just going to collect dust, though, in your in your house. Let's be honest. Uh, I do like the look of it. Um, it might part out well. I'm not sure. Um, I like the fact that it's come with a little, you know, vase just to hold the, the flowers in place, but. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know how many of these pieces are loose in there. It's probably quite a fair few. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what the price point of this will be as well from a part out perspective. Hmm. I don't know. I like I like it, but I wouldn't get it at ninety pounds. So at least that's my view. Hi, Emre. How are you? Been a while seeing you. Yeah, I think it's too expensive for what it is. You know, the bonsai tree is double, is half the price, as, as you mentioned. Uh, I just, I'm not sure about this. I, I do like it, but it's too expensive for what it is. Heart Lake City Grand Hotel. Can we, we've been going for nine, 82 minutes? Wow, I can't believe we've been going for this long. We're getting close to the end, so. That's a nice hotel. But it's Lego Friends, which means I probably won't get it just simply because I'll be stuck with a lot of these parts forever if I part it out. 1,308 pieces for 90 pounds. Well, if, you can, if you can get this reduced to 60 pounds, I think it'd be pretty good. Otherwise, it'd probably be a miss for me. Now here, this one is gonna go fly off, off the shelves. Medieval Castle. See, limited to, they expect this to be popular, right? I like the look of this. It is a three-in-one, so I expect it to be rubbish from a part-out perspective. Uh, but I think this will resell in the future really well. Although it might do okay from a part-out perspective, right? Because there's lots of uh, dark bluish gray and light gray and lots of these shield elements. I like the little uh, water thing there. It looks it looks really good, and I can I, I can see my uh, six year old who actually loves playing with Lego rather than building it would have a lot of fun with this set. Um, I think he would he would actually really love this set. Ninety pounds for how many pieces? One thousand four hundred twenty six. I think they got it spot on with the pricing. I think um, it's more or less where I expected it to be. Um, if you can get a cashback offer or you know you can buy it somewhere else in a retail if it comes down to like you know 75 pounds or something like that i think you do you'll do really well so um yeah surprised about that because usually three and ones are not that good from a part out perspective so be be intrigued to see what the part out will be for this one only the top player of small pieces on in the 
Birds of Paradise port, I guess you mean. Yeah. We shall see. I still think there's a few hundred there. <laughs> right, next one. What are we moving on? Oh, Taj Mahal. Lego architecture. I think this could be um, the first architecture set that might be worth getting from a part out perspective. Now, I could be wrong. There's lots of tile elements. Well, these are one by ones rather than two by two, but lots of tiles. Um, obviously, lots of white. How many pieces are there? 2022 for 90 pounds. Yeah. That's less than five pence a brick. This could be one, the first architecture set that could be worth from parting out because most architecture set are not worth it from a parting out. This could be one, especially if you can get cash back offer, maybe give a purchase at some point or double VIP points. This could be one to keep an eye out for. Be interesting to see, you know, I'm, I'm mentioning all these things whilst I'm reviewing this. <laughs> I pretty much sure that when, I, when they come out and I'll do a top 10, uh, video in like two or three months time <laughs> none of these sets will be in the top 10 <laughs> it'll be my kind of uh, uh, you know luck so to speak we'll see maybe it'll surprise me and one of these will actually pop up in the top 10 who knows but yeah I, I think this will do quite well Temple of the Endless Sea sounds like more Ninjago Yeah, I think I think the smaller Taj Mahal is better than the big one, but you've got to remember the big one is now a few years old as well, right? So uh, interesting here. That's quite a lot of minifigures again. It's very very special the way they're built. So I guess you've got to be really watching the Ninjago series to understand what's all going on in here. Um, but all I'm seeing. It's colors that look great, but that you won't shift from a brickling perspective. That, that's just how I look at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, how many parts? 1060 with the minifigures. Mm. As with all Ninjago, I expect. 20-25% discounts. Now this one, next one, this should sell out quick. Oh, it's not out yet. Well, yeah, you can pre-order it, so they do expect to sell it quick. So I think this is going to be a hot one for Christmas. I think lots of people will want this set. If it only comes out in August, I'll probably go on to back order quite quickly. Uh, 90 pounds. I'm not sure that could be counted as a minifigure. There's five minifigures here. Yeah, I, I can see this. Uh, this is going to go quick. You know, as with all Star Wars stuff, right? Hi, right, Jordan. Welcome back. And what are we going to move on to next? Oh, the final page. So we're getting to the real big stuff now. Well, <laughs> I say that. And the first thing we see is video. <laughs> yeah. So this is the boom box. Now, I do like the way it looks and the fact that everything kind of falls back together into a boom box. So let's have a look at this, how it then looks like. I think that's quite clever. Uh, I'd be interested to see how this works out from a part out perspective. How many parts? 996. No, it's not going to be doing quite well. But there's lots of tiles here, right? So and lots of black. So that's why it might be appealing from a part out perspective. But apart from that, you know, I already mentioned it, what I thought of the theme. It's not my cup of tea. But who knows? That, this might be the set that I get from a part out perspective if it works out. But we'll have, we'll have to keep our eyes out for that one. More wildlife at rip-off prices, probably. It's, it's the elephants are back. Oh, you get more different animals here. You get a white, white lion? Looks like a leopard, elephant. Again, it seems like a whole mix match of different things. Look, the, the rope plates back with water. Um, similar vehicle. 
I think this is way overpriced what it is. Yeah, look, 500 pieces, 90 pounds. No, not for me. Modern Treehouse. I think this is a uh, Minecraft. 100 pounds for 900 pieces. Uh, that's too much. Maybe 60 would have been more adequate. Again, with as you know with Minecraft, um, it's probably better from a resale perspective rather than a part-out perspective. It wouldn't surprise me if the part-out of this was like 120 pounds. Moving on to Harry Potter. Oh, the large figure build. 120 pounds. 1,673. I think these will be quite popular. Um, they're not a high on my priority list, but again, the one thing I'm looking at for what are the part out values for these, because there's quite a lot of pieces um, in this set. Probably a lot of pieces that will sell quite well given the colors that are in here, um, but I can't see the faces selling quite well. <laughs> I think those will probably be stuck forever. Uh, but 120 pounds, mm, it's quite steep, right? But it's Harry Potter. Would have been nice if they could give a, a golden minifigure with this set as well. That would have topped it off. Hydro Bounty Ninjago. I looked at this earlier and it made me wonder is this an, a new uh, trans clear color that we're getting? Because this doesn't look like trans dark blue and it doesn't look like trans light blue to me. It looks like trans dark turquoise and I'm not even sure if there's such a color as that. I must say this looks pretty cool this build. Kind of makes me want to watch what this Ninjago episode is going to be about underwater because this <laughs> I kind of like this. Lots of minifigures but a hefty price. I can imagine the white parts will sell. Some of the minifigures will but I think they're, they're not that exclusive because they appear in the other sets we saw. And 1160 pieces is not that many for that price 120 so maybe it's going to be like the destiny's bounty one day price it for 120 and you'll get it for 80 pounds pretty much elsewhere after three months maybe then it'll be worth it hogwarts chamber of secrets this will be very popular and i think the part out will do quite well too because how many pieces have we got? 1176. But 11 minifigures. And a golden one. Yeah. This got money written all over it. I think the minifigures alone early on in the beginning will, unless there's not many, if unless there's uh, a lot of ones that are in other sets, uh, but the unique minifigures will sell you know, for £10 and upwards, I would say. Um, and that will definitely push up the part out value early on and you know light bluish grey, dark bluish grey, tan those are colours that all tend to do quite well from a selling perspective so I think this is probably going to do quite well be out of stock soon Lego Friends apartment right it's not new this today but I'm just going to cover it anyway I'm on the fence of this one, right? 135 pounds. Right, it's got lots of pieces. For me, this would be a part out. Because uh, I think the box is quite big. If you have to keep it. I also do think if it's anything like Central Perk, this will be like 100 pounds at some point. Uh, so it will drop significantly in price. Uh, seven minifigures, which is quite good. But I do think that uh, 135 pounds is slightly under high price, knowing that uh, the history with the central perks, I think that it will come down at some point. <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty much everywhere now. The new sets, but you know, you you probably rather go to the Lego store and get your VIP points. That would be my advice rather than Smiths, because you're not going to get any discount right now at Smiths. I'm pretty sure that they will have them in Lego store available or even my advice would even buy it online right and uh, make sure you use a cashback offer as well and you still get your VIP points that way that's probably the best deal you can get right now is 
order through quick quote or top cashback and get your um your uh cashback offer plus your vip points that way now the guardian ship from marvel i've seen quite a few uh um pictures of this before i think the box art looks really good makes it look nice how many pieces 1901 I think the minifigures will be worth quite a bit. This set will be popular, uh, but I'm kind of hoping this will reduce in price. Um, I'm not sure about this as a part out because it's lots of orange, and orange is one of those colors that does not tend to, tend to do quite well from a reselling perspective. Uh, so, apart from the minifigures, I think this might be better from a a brand new and box kind of selling and investing or holding it until it's uh, retired and wait for it to get a better deal I will see how the part out value I'm not going to talk about the the shuttle or R2D2 out of stock hey and then we got the world map what do people think about this one back orders accepted we'll ship in 60 days really now this set is probably going to do really well from a part out perspective because it's got 11,000 pieces 11,695 in fact so that brings it to like 2p pretty much for a, a part um, so I can see the part out is, ratio is going to be crazy it wouldn't surprise me if this is number one but it'd be one of those things like if, if you have like five people who buy this set and just parts it out the piece availability is just going to skyrocket and the demand for it is not necessarily going to skyrocket so i, I see that this is uh it's going to be similar to the lego art sets when they first came out with uh, the star wars one it was like something like a ridiculous ratio of like 10 to 1 and it just now it's even less than 3 to 1 because those pieces aren't just selling so i can see a similar thing developing with this set that is going to be quite doing well early on from the part out value but it's going to drop quite rapidly um, it's not said that I'm necessarily going to get at this stage well I couldn't anyway but uh, I, I'm still not sure what to think about it I think they could have done a better thing job with the seeds but I see that you can do create different patterns right so people who've got artistic feel you can do something like this uh, but I do see why it's popular people you know who like to travel they might want to have a map and pinpoint where they've been on the map and you could do it quite easily with the Lego because I think the sea is tiles and the land is uh, plates. So you can actually put something on the land. And last but not least, the Daily Bugle. So yes, this actually obviously was available to VIP or well, pretty much everybody. 26th of uh, May, but officially launched the 1st of June. Uh, I don't need to say what I think about this set. Uh, I've already ordered, well, I've already received two of them. So, uh, I ordered this on the 26th and it arrived earlier. If you saw my video yesterday, uh, my live stream where I actually did my Lego haul, you saw I received, I opened one of these. I will probably part them out, uh, but I definitely will keep one in the future for myself because uh, once I get to build a Lego city, this is the sort of building I definitely want to have featured in there because I think it looks really good. <laughs> yeah, I think the demand must be crazy for that, although maybe. They didn't expect that to uh, be that high, so they didn't build that many because it's quite a big price point, right? So who knows about that world map? So, uh, Wolves, uh, let me just go to thing because that's actually the final set that I was going to review. Let me just go back to a thing and answer some questions. Um, so in terms of my uh, investing, it's kind of a new thing to me, so I wouldn't, buy, wouldn't say by any means that I'm an expert at this yet. I'm um, kind of like I started obviously with Brickling first because I didn't want to put my money into sets and having to wait for you know three two or three years and not seeing any return. Uh, I wanted to make some sort of like cash generation through doing build, uh, Bricklink, and then I gradually started kind of diversifying by looking at buying some sets. And it's kind of gotten out of control, I must say. I've kind of bought more sets that I wanted. I've got over 350 sets in a storage unit just waiting to retire. Uh, so I kind of don't know yet how that's going to work out from a strategy. Uh, we will we'll find out. I've only been really doing that now for about seven, eight months, I would say. Starting to buy the sets to hold. 
Um, I did buy a few sets that have retired and interestingly today, uh, I have been on Amazon Ungated for a while, but interestingly today, about three hours ago, I did my first sale on Amazon and it was a retired set that I had listed um, and it was um, a Batman, you know, the last Batmobile that was out. Uh, but yeah, um, time will tell, right? And it's kind of a learning curve for me where we're going to go with the, the long term investing because you know i have been watching other channels but you know the one thing i have learned as well is people like jim from brick bucks you know he talks everything is really good but that's a different market right so um i think we got to make sure that if you watch videos from people across the pond the market space is different uh, everywhere and it's kind of i'm trying to build that knowledge and kind of tap into a few themes which i think might do well but you've got to be cautious as well and i think ultimately if you buy sets from an investment perspective at the right price, you know, if you back up, my backup plan, my contingency is I would sell a retired set at RRP. I would still be better off than, uh, you know, than what I paid for. And people who then buy a retired set at RRP will still think they've got a great deal. So that's kind of the way I look at it. So if you buy at the right price, I don't think you can go wrong. At least that's that's the strategy I take. Oh yeah, so uh, I don't go crazy on one second. Let me just close the window for a second. So, because um, I do think I've got a few little friends coming in here. And it's quite bright in here, so get attracted. So no, I don't tend to go crazy. Um, I have a lot of variety of sets. I'm just thinking what's probably the highest that I've got. The, probably the highest that I've got is some of the Speed Champions, a small value set. So I think the highest I've got is uh, architecture set, the London one, and probably this one here. There's maybe 15 or 20 of those, but I don't have crazy stuff on, uh, you know, high value sets that I have tons of. I just simply don't have that sort of cash to, st to stick into Lego right now, so. But yeah, um, you gotta be careful, right? And, but, but then my, my backup plan as well, if there was something like a camper van nightmare, uh, you have plan B, part it out. At least that's how I look at it as well. Uh, so that's kind of the thing what I'm looking at it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, um, I bought some Minecraft and I've got lots of architecture as well. Um, but it's, it'd be interesting to see how that does over time. Um, but the, the one thing I need to be mindful of is I'm trying to see what the pricing evolution is going to be on the, the UK market. Now we've seen, you know, on other channels, what it does in the US. I just want to learn from my own experience and not rely on what other people are saying on YouTube or, you know, or showing spreadsheets and saying we're selling at this price, but, you know, we're taking them at face value. I want to make sure that we're, we're seeing how it goes here. Uh, in our own market um you know i think we also had all ex different experiences especially with with covid people kind of rushed through it so it's a very unique thing in terms of the marketplace you know we couldn't actually get the lego we wanted from the normal sources so people were automatically drawn to to amazon and, and ebay places where they want avail availability so that, so that surged up the pricing so let's see how that continues um when things are coming back to normal um my main thing I want to learn as well is, you know, how long are sets out for and trying to buy at the right time. So far from what I've seen and what I've been doing, I've not really bought too many sets that weren't far off the bottom of the, the pricing. So I always aim to get a, a great deal ultimately. So and now with the availability of my Discord channel, as soon as I see those deals, I let them know as well to the rest of the people. So. Yeah, there's a, a great incentive for everybody to join our Discord channel because uh, not only do we do it now for the UK, we've also started uh, learning more about the US market because we do know there's quite a few people uh, on our channel from the US who will have an interest uh, and we, we start uh, looking at for deals there as well. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong with those speed champions, right? Although. Uh, last week on uh, Amazon, you could get those for four pounds twenty-three. Mm. I didn't get any because I already got enough. But yeah, um, that was that speed challenge Ferrari F40. 
that's the one thing I think you're going to have to be patient with that one because uh, many people got those right two for 15. Um, you, you're going to have to sit on it for a year or two because by the time all this, you know, the volume gets sold out, uh, it's it's going to be a year from now, if not longer, uh, before people, you know, that, that set is going to sell at RRP for at least a year or 18 months. You're only going to start to see an increase in price then potentially after that, I'd say. But then most people might be happy to sell it at RRP when they get it at £7.50. So who knows, right? Time will tell. Well, no, Emre, what you got to do, um, the two for 15, you buy three of those. And what I did, I, buy, I bought five of the Star Wars battle packs with it. So that was also a two for 15 deal. So they had the Star Wars, uh, I forgot which one it was, I haven't got it here. The battle pack. 75266 I think if, it, if I remember correctly the number I've got a little fly in here um, that one um, you could combine as well in the deal so that's what I often did so I had three F40s and five Star Wars so eight in total two for 15 it worked out that way so any more questions because uh, uh, I think we've done the main thing that we wanted to cover today I kind of hope you enjoyed it Make sure you like this video because that does help our channel as well. And for everybody who's been uh, active on our Discord channel, we also appreciate people who use our affiliate links on there. That does help us as well because that's kind of the thing we're going to start doing now is we're going to use the funds that we get through that, um, the commission from the sales, you know, to help more of our giveaways as well. So there's definitely more stuff coming through there. So yeah, you got to take advantage, right? So isn't, you just got to look at what other sets you can get for the 2 for 15. So uh I always combined it with that Star Wars one because that one's that one's retiring as well, so that battle pack. And if you can get that for seven pound fifty as well, uh, you know you can't go wrong. So I, I don't think you can go wrong with a Star Wars battle pack. Uh, again, um, you can sell it in the future for the RRP, I think. So, uh, but yeah. I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, thanks everyone for watching all your support and uh, we'll be back uh, with more videos. Probably we're actually, we might be back tomorrow with the, the prize draw for uh, the May competition. I do know we have to still do that. So I'm probably going to schedule that at some point tomorrow, uh, but it'll, it'll be in the evening again. So uh, that's definitely coming up. So thanks for watching.